You know, we talk about that every day. Uh, that's the first thing I talked about once I got here this past spring, is if we're going to be good on defense, we've got to be good up front. Uh, and, you know, we harp that, we harp that, and just like you said, they have, they've been good. And when, even when I think you had the great football teams here, like you said, it wasn't all offense. The defense was playing well, too. So we know for us to be a great defense, it starts up front. We're trying to get as many guys ready to play as we can, trying to create depth. And all of them have that have to have that same sense of urgency. At practice, looks like you guys have a lot of numbers over there. Have we you do, the and I told them last night. Uh, you know, we have more kids on scholarship on the defensive line than any place I've ever been, which you know we're very fortunate that. I think we are getting to the point where we're above average at too deep. You know, we got to continue to bring that third DN along and that third tackle, third nose guard, which will make us a better football team. That way, if someone in that first two groups get hurt, then you got another guy that uh, is capable of stepping in there and helping. You've got uh, you know, five, six guys who've, who've been you know, good contributors in the past, and nobody has really been a star yet. Uh, a lot of guys are kind of looking to take that next step and, and really stand out this season. 100% right, and, and that's what we've talked about. We do, we have experience. We've got some guy, a lot of guys that's played football here in this conference. And what they have to do is exactly what you said. they got to take that next step to that next level. we got to find somebody in there. The thing that I talk to the guys about all the time, you want to be that guy that they feel like they got to block twice. And that's what we got to have on the field. I mean, not to, they're going to double team us sometime. We got to be able to be tough and take that on. We got to get more physical toughness at the point of the attack. And then, heck, once we get off a block, we got to be able to keep running, and, and somebody else needs to have to block us. One of those guys, obviously, Bo Martin, who's chipped in around here for a couple of years. How's he doing? Is he I think he's doing well. He's getting uh, better and better. He's getting used to. Uh, the way I coach him, you know, which might be a little different than what they were used to. But, you know, I got a lot of respect for Bo, and, and Bo knows what I want, and he's working his butt off to get better every day. What does he, uh, what does he bring to, to that position? I think that just his practice tempo right now, the way he goes about things in practice, as you can see, he goes full speed. And that's the things that I, that I preach to him all the time, that not just in the team periods I want to see him going full. When we're doing our drill work, it's nothing but great practice habits. And so I expect guys like he, Tyler Horn, those, that senior leadership to take over and set the tempo in our drills. It's easy to go to the team periods in the scrimmage and play hard. Now let's do the same thing when we're working on our drills. He's obviously so, replacing a guy, you know, Demarcus Lawrence, who, who put up a lot of numbers, second round pick. I mean, do you have to tell him, hey, you know, try, is he, try not to do what he did, or how do you? No, I, we really never talk about it. I mean, obviously, we all know that Marcus was a great player here, and he does have some big shoes to fill. But, you know, there's been a lot of great players here. How about at the other defensive end position? I know, like, on, on the uh, roster, for example, it says Gabe Perez is a stud, but it lists Kamala is just a defensive end. So are, are they competing? Well, they're each? both playing stud, yeah. and they could either one of them play D and also. That's the thing that we're trying to make sure that we're capable of doing. If you don't have another defensive end as good as Kamala or Gabe and something happened to Bo, one of those guys will go over there. So you're, you're right. Those three right there are best three players at those two positions. So I want to be able to you know, swing them back and forth. You know, I guess more specifically, do you guys feel like you do have that game changer on the defensive line this year? Talking with like Cody Fajardo and some of the guys down at Mountain West Media Days, you know, they said that DeMarcus was a game changer. He was a game changer. I don't know that we have a DeMarcus yet. I think we're going to continue to work. You know, uh, this time next year, if somebody has drafted him in the second round, then we'll, <laughs> we did have a DeMarcus. How about, how about the uh, JC transfers? Uh, earlier this week, uh, Coach Arson said that he brought them in here for a reason and that he felt like they had to contribute. After the first couple practices, do you think that they're going to be in position? I there? thought they were a lot better today than they were yesterday. I was ready to send them back to JC yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they did. They got a lot better today. You know, it was a uh, whole different atmosphere mm -hmm. than they were used to, obviously. Uh, since they weren't here in the spring. But they'll be able to help us a lot this year. I think uh, McNair has really, he's a very athletic man and very flexible, can run, can do a lot of things. You know, he's one of those guys I think can help us outside and inside at some point. And Turner, he's done a real good job. He's lost a little bit of weight. He's, he's learning what's going on. He knows now 
what I expect of him, and I thought today he was probably five times better than he was yesterday. So that's exciting to me. I'm looking forward to watching the uh, practice film. Elliot Hoyt was in the depth chart coming out of spring. Uh, he kind of been quietly doing, going about his business the last couple of years. What, what, what happened with him? I think he had a great summer in the weight room to start with. And the thing that Elliot has to do, and, and I've got to help him with it, he's got to get more confidence. And just like I talked about earlier, we're talking about being strong and physical at the point of attack. Well, he's done everything in the summer to get there. Now I got to see if he's going to be that physical dominant guy that we want him to be inside. He's built like what a three technique should look like. You know, now we got to get him in there playing like that. And I think he's come a long ways. I've been proud of him these two practices. Now tomorrow we put the pads on. Let's sit, we'll find out what it's really about tomorrow. What do you want out of this group? What, what, what is your big I want to dominate the guys? line of scrimmage. I want them to have to block us twice. I don't want them to think that they can anybody line up and block us one-on-one. -on -one. I want the attitude that we're going in there to win every one-on-one -on -one battle that there is. Is Tyler Horn entrenched at the tackle, or is he going to be moved around again? No, he's not going to be moving around. He's going to play the three technique, okay. and uh, he's bought into that. We also moved uh, Sam uh, McCaskill down there to get some reps and give us some depth. And Sam is a great technique player. I think he'll really help us there. I, hopefully, just like we were talking about Elliot, I know Sam's tough. Tyler's got to get a little tougher. I think that Tyler, Sam, Elliot, those two or three guys play in that three technique position, they they can make a difference. Who's at the other nose tackle position or, or tackle? Well, right now you got Nance, you got Turner. Obviously, JT's a little bit banged up, trying to come off with some foot problems. We'll have uh, JT in there. We're working Robert Ash there. So we got a, a lot of numbers right there. We just got to find the best three. What have you seen out of Nance? Uh, well, uh, same thing. I think Nance right now, he's playing faster. He he got a little heavy last spring, mm -hmm. and now he's lost that weight. I think he's back down to 285 or something like that. So he's playing a lot faster. And his big thing, which we talk about all the time, he just got to be more consistent. When he gets a little tired, you know, carrying that much weight, he's got to still be able to step up in there and play and play with the kind of intensity we want him to. And that's why it's so important that we get that depth so he doesn't have to play six or eight plays in a row. Who are the ends of the studs? Uh, the ends are uh, McNair and Bo. The studs are Sam and, uh, I'm sorry, not Sam, Kamale and Gabe. Okay. Does he have enough depth at end? Uh, yeah, we're going to, again, we'll work Sam in there at end some. And we got Matt Bozen, which I think is really doing a good job over at the stud. Okay. All right, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Coach. Coach. Don't forget your sunglasses.